all right guys here we are making another video with uh, kind of a little bit more basic to your insight for your Cummins software um, my driver here is uh, complaining he can't keep up on the highway because uh, they changed the speed limit so now he wants to be able to go a little bit faster he is one of my better drivers so I'm gonna oblige to what he wants and go ahead and do so so you can start off here go up on the top left hand corner turn the ignition key on and then go ahead and click connect to your ECM this screen here will pop up and you go down and click on connect sometimes it'll connect quick sometimes it takes forever sometimes it won't connect at all and it's just a pain in the rear but then once she does connect it takes more time to upload an e into the ECM than it actually does to change everything over. Okay, and there we go. So now on the left hand column, over here you're going to go to your features and parameter tab. Click on that. Once you do so, she should bring up your parameters and everything. And she's going extremely slow here this morning. Okay, there we go. Um, said you can scroll down, use your mouse. Um, I usually just use the keypad. And all you got to do is, we'll adjust the cruise control also, but you normally got to go through here down to the bottom where it says Road Speed Governor open that tab up and you'll have a max vehicle speed um, and then also right above it you'll have accelerator vehicle speed and then all you gotta do is click where the previous setting is at and then just type in what you're gonna turn it to hit enter on the far right column it'll tell you what the original value was there and then in the other section it'll tell you what it's going to be set at once that's done, then I go back up to the cruise control, open that tab up, and then I can change this cruise control there to whatever I seem to be turning it up to, and I'm going to leave that at 75. I'm not going to mess around with it because you don't need to go any faster than that. Once that's all said and done, take your mouse up to the top taskbar up here, and it'll be a little tab there with a computer on it and when you hold your cursor over it it says send to ECM and click on that tab and then come down and click OK and then there it says turn your key switch off and then click OK and then it says 30 seconds it's usually pretty quick because this is a CNG the diesels, I believe it's a minute and a half, you gotta wait. But these are fairly quick to do. Then as long as there's no complications, it'll have you flip the key back on, hit OK, and it's done. Um, very simple to do. Most of everything in this is pretty self-explanatory and it, it tells you pretty good on uh, what you have to do even troubleshooting it's pretty self-explanatory um, after you get everything turned back on click OK wait a couple seconds here and it'll pop up and tell you everything was written to the ECM and then that's it you're done um, click OK here it says everything was good and then there you have it and everything is rewritten change the speedometer or the or the top speed and uh, like I said everything else in it should be set good to go you go back up here to the top left hand corner you can disconnect or for fun you can click on fault codes right underneath disconnect just to double check there's nothing in there and then just hit your disconnect and she'll disconnect you from the ECM and then you're pretty much done with that pretty self-explanatory any questions, comments, 
feel free to put them down like it don't like it I'm just out here trying to help everybody else um, if you see something that I might not have done the proper way or a faster way of doing it that you know how please let me know I'm open to any kind of criticism thank you